Hello, my name is Ashley. We'll be getting started here in just a couple of moments. Uh, if I see that we have a couple of participants on already, uh, do you guys mind just taking a quick moment to comment in the chat section uh, if you can hear me and if you can see the presentation? Wonderful, thank you, Paul. Most important thing is that we are all here, that you can hear me, so this is great. Presentation is not working, okay. Thank you, Kathy. Kathleen, give me just a moment here. Okay, so yep, so the opening slide should be up. Kathleen, are you seeing anything? Perfect, thank you, Paul. Yep. Okay, great, wonderful. Awesome, thank you, thank you. And we'll give just a couple of minutes for the others to, to join. So this will be kind of an exciting presentation. We have a lot we can get to, to go over and there's a lot that we can do with Giving Tuesday. So I know it's a big time of year for everybody. Glad you made time to join us today. And I'll go over this in just a moment too, but we'll definitely be taking questions at the end. So any notes you have along the way, you know, jot down some questions and we can, can go over those. We can have it be a little interactive. The webinar is 30 minutes, uh, scheduled for 30 minutes and that'll be questions and things. But if you need to jump off early, no problems there either, because we're going to have everything recorded. And then uh, because you've registered, you'll get an email with the recorded presentation. So anything kind of tacked on at the end, if you're not able to stay for the whole thing, it's no problem. Absolutely. Great question. And we'll get just another minute for people to jump on. And this will be a great opportunity, even if you've done Giving Tuesday with us before, just to kind of get a good refresher of all the opportunities that are there, but also just some of those regular, what feels like mundane things, but they can make a big difference. So this will be, hopefully this will be super helpful. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started here. Again, my name is Ashley. I am so grateful that you guys have taken some time out of your day to join us. We're excited about Giving Tuesday and all that we have planned. Uh, just a couple of housekeeping things before we get started. Uh, we are going to be recording this webinar. So I was just mentioning to Bailey that if you miss anything or if you have to duck out a little early, no problem there. We're going to be emailing the recording and also the slide deck for the webinar. So just kind of keep an eye out for that over the next couple of days, that'll be sent to all of our registrants. And then also we're gonna be posting this in the um, resource tab on the Giving Tuesday website. So you know people can also go there and check out all of our previous webinars and you'll be able to uh, access this one as well. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna look at our six easy steps to planning your campaign and then we have a bonus step in there but no matter where you are in the process you still have time to create an awesome giving tuesday campaign so today we're going to take a look at registration getting your profile ready taking advantage of your resources and scheduling your content for before during and after the big day so to get started, we're gonna take a look at a couple of Giving Tuesday basics. Giving Tuesday is a global movement 
And on Mighty Cause, we're offering an event focused on empowering the small to mid-sized nonprofits to join the movement with us. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna empower you? So through offering free resources, we're gonna lavish cash and subscription prizes on you throughout the event. And we're gonna provide some stellar customer support every step of the way. And all you need to do is register. So a couple of important dates to take note of, early giving opens on November 16th. All donations starting at midnight Eastern Standard Time on November 16th will count towards your Giving Tuesday total. So you can start moving up those leaderboards early on. And registration is gonna close November 23rd. So it's open right now, but it will close basically a week before Giving Tuesday. So you don't wanna delay getting set up and ready to go. And then of course, the last big date to remember is November 30th. What we're gonna do is we start at midnight Eastern Standard Time, November 30th, and we run all the way through midnight Pacific Standard Time, November 30th, so that nobody misses out on any of those opportunities. The main opportunities are prizes, which is always an incentive, not just for organizations, but for donors as well. So Mighty Cause is gonna be giving away $7,000 in cash, $7,000 in advanced subscriptions, we know that cash is king, but we also know that advanced subscriptions help to bring in more cash throughout the year. And this year, just to help get the momentum going, we're going to be offering two prizes for early giving success. So we're going to have a $250 prize to the organization with the most unique donors during early giving. And we're also going to have another $250 prize to the organization with the most dollars raised during early giving. And throughout early giving and Giving Tuesday, we certainly have the leaderboards that are gonna be tracking the most dollars raised. And at the end of the event, we'll award the top first, second, and third place finishers with $100 cash. And the way we do that is we have two leaderboards. Just we wanna keep things fair, so we break up organizations into two categories. We have our small nonprofits and our large nonprofits. Each group will have its own leaderboard. And for those with an annual budget of $250,000 or less, you'll be considered a small nonprofit. And for those with over $250,000 of that annual budget, you'll be considered a large nonprofit. And we also have six power hours this year. Each are worth $500. A power hour is a fundraising sprint that awards a prize to the organization that raises either the most money or has the most unique donors in the space of an hour. And you can check out those hourly details and the other prize information in the prizes tab on the Giving Tuesday website. Prizes are not gonna end there. We also have four random golden tickets throughout Giving Tuesday. And this means that every registered nonprofit has a chance to win. Small, large, doesn't matter. During the hours listed on the prize page, if your organization receives a donation, you're gonna be entered to win one of six, excuse me, let me re-say that. You're gonna be entered to win a free six month subscription to the Mighty Cause Advanced Plan. So there'll be four opportunities for that six month subscription. We also have a meet your match. And for this, we'll be, to be choosing two of our registered nonprofits that post and meet a matching grant of at least $1,000 on their fundraising page, we'll be choosing two to win a free one-year subscription to the Mighty Cause Advance Plan. And we also have, with Amplifier Fundraising, that enters all participating nonprofits that raise over $1,000 online on the Giving Tuesday. It enters you into a prize pool, and after Giving Tuesday concludes, two organizations will be randomly selected to win a free one-year advance subscription. And these subscription prizes, these will be announced uh, by noon on December 1st. So it's nothing with a leaderboard, but those are definitely something to keep in mind. So now that we have a little bit of incentive and kind of know what Giving Tuesday is all about, let's take a look at our first step, which is to register. All you have to do is head over to givingtuesday.mightycause.com. 
You're gonna click register below the Giving Tuesday date. It's simple, it takes only a few minutes and it definitely has a big reward. A couple of things to note, if you're already an admin for your organization, Mighty Cause will pull your information from your account. The other option is to find your organization. And for that, all you need is either your full name or the EIN of the nonprofit. Just be sure to double check that it's the correct organization. And last thing, registration has two steps. So the first is to complete and submit the registration form. And the second is to complete a four item to-do list. And this is gonna include a logo, a banner, the story section on your profile page, and a thank you page. And we'll take a closer look at these in just a moment. But once the form and your to-do list are complete, that's the bare minimum and you are good to go. So now we're on to step two, which is gonna be getting that Mighty Cause profile page ready. Four of the essential items are already part of that registration process. The fifth item is setting up EFT or direct deposit for your disbursement. And this can actually be done through your settings tab as opposed to right on the, the profile page. That will also just take a quick peek at a little bit later on. But this is the basics, it's the essentials of what you have to have done. When you're looking at your profile page, the URL is what you're gonna be sharing with your supporters. So you're gonna add this to your website, you're gonna include it in all of your correspondence, you're gonna have it on all of your social media. And this is why customizing that profile page is so important because that's where everybody's gonna be headed. And you can do this by using the quick edit option at the top of your page. And this will highlight all of the different customizing that you can do. But the main things of your banner, your logo, and your story, those are definitely essential. The story section is definitely something that you want to take a little bit of time on. So think through, what do your donors need to know about your organization? Do you have any upcoming initiatives for 2022? Have rising prices of the goods changed your budgeting needs? You know, just all kinds of different things to think through that you want your donors to know. So maybe you also had some great breakthroughs in your community and you want to celebrate the initiatives of 2021. Tell that to your donor. Share with them in your story section. And don't be afraid to use pictures and videos to get that message across because it's helpful when they have that visual of what your organization has been doing. What we also have between your banner and your story section, so it's towards the top of the page, we have a goal in progress bar, and we suggest updating your goal to reflect your Giving Tuesday plans. And this can be edited at any time. So if you hit that goal before Giving Tuesday even arrives because you've had excellent early giving, go ahead and bump up that goal. You can adjust it at any time. And in addition to adjusting the goal for Giving Tuesday, you also might want to update your metrics to, to start calculating on November 16th for early giving so that your donors can see all of the activity for Giving Tuesday. And not only can you customize your profile page, but you can customize your checkout flow as well. And you can find the checkout flow on your dashboard under the tab checkout and then click donation form. A couple of hints. Add suggested donation amounts and descriptions that pair up with your new initiatives or any of your budget adjustments. Or if you already have donation descriptions, go ahead and take a moment, just make sure that everything is up to date, everything is flowing well. And once you have that updated in your checkout flow, give it a practice run. Or even better, have a friend, have a coworker, take a walk through the checkout process and they can share feedback with you so that you know, is this really easy for our donors? Does it just make sense to me because I work for the nonprofit so the jargon makes sense? So just have somebody kind of have an extra pair of eyes on it. The next thing in your checkout tab on your dashboard is your thank you page. So this is essentially the donation confirmation page, but more importantly, this is your first opportunity to thank your donor for the gift. So you're gonna share your gratitude. You're gonna include a picture, have a video. You're gonna reassure your donor that their contribution is making a difference. 
And you can also add a call to action button at the very bottom of the page so that your donors are always being directed to the next step. So you can have them go back to your main page. You can have them go back to a Facebook page. Anywhere that you want them to go, you can have that call to action button there. Now your donation receipt is also found in the checkout tab on your dashboard. The good news is that we send out those receipts immediately after the donation is submitted. The better news is that you're able to customize a message on that receipt. So you're able to have that one last interaction with your donor immediately following their donation. You can add hyperlinks, you can let them know something that's upcoming or different events that are happening. So take advantage of that and definitely be sure to preview that receipt before you finalize and leave the page. And now that your donors are taken care of, we're gonna take a look at the back end. So there's an icon, the very last icon on your dashboard is for your settings tab. And here's where you're gonna make sure that all of your admins, your new admins are there, any previous admins are, have been removed. And then you also have the option in your general settings to customize your URL. Just keep in mind that the URL, it can only be updated once. So you'll wanna use that option wisely. And you'll also have the option in your general settings to update your, so your social sharing options. So the good news with this is you can update this anytime. So you wanna make sure that it is ready to go with Giving Tuesday and then throughout early giving and Giving Tuesday itself on November 30th, you're updating that so that any posts and any shares are reflecting what's really going on. You'll also have the option in your settings tab to double check your uh, direct deposit EFT settings. And of course, if any legal information has changed, you'll wanna take a look at those also. Lastly, if you're returning to Giving Tuesday, take a quick moment and check out your donor retention rates in the overview tab on your dashboard. So this will be the top icon on your dashboard. Donors that gave last year to Giving Tuesday are such a great opportunity to reach out to for this year's campaign. So consider creating a specific strategy to reach out to these donors, thank them for their participation in the past, and just touch base with them about donating again this year or even considering raising their donation this year. But if they've cared enough to donate in the past, definitely a great opportunity to reach out to this year as well. And something to keep in mind, retention isn't limited to only Giving Tuesday. So this feature is available to all of you all year long through Mighty Cause. So come on back in in February, take another look, see who you need to touch base with. Definitely a great tool that you can use anytime. So step three, we're gonna use those Mighty Cause resources. We have a resource tab with a nonprofit toolkit on the Giving Tuesday website. The great news is that this toolkit has everything you need. So whether you're small nonprofit, large nonprofit, everything is there for you. Just head on over to that givingtuesday.com, or excuse me, givingtuesday.mightycause.com to find that resource tab. So with 2021, every campaign is a little bit different. Sometimes we just need a refresher, or if you're new to your organization, you just need a little help moving forward. So let's say that you need assistance with some email templates. We've got that in our toolkit. If you need logos or you need graphics, we have those. If social media matching brands is always something that you got somebody else to do in the past, don't worry about it. Don't be afraid of it. Just check out the toolkit. Everything that you need is right there for you at your fingertips. Like we mentioned at the start of today, our resources tab is gonna provide the webinar for today. It also provides recordings of our past webinars. So if you miss anything, or if there's somebody else on your team who could benefit from the information, you can go here anytime at your convenience, select the webinar that you need, and you're good to go. Our fourth step. So we're gonna start scheduling our content. This is such a helpful and an important part of being prepared. So think about your emails. We wanna start getting those ready now. Use the email templates in your toolkit to help you out. So as an example, let's say we're gonna do five emails throughout early giving and the day of. 
go ahead and write those out now. Make sure that the content and the message of your Giving Tuesday is clear. Whatever your mission is, we want to make sure that that's flowing and it's not choppy. If you have a prize winning strategy, because you know that there's a certain power hour that you can dominate, include that in that outreach so that your donors are ready. They know what they're doing. Be clear, be specific, but also be concise and feel free to let them know Giving Tuesday is this big global event and they can be a part of that by simply supporting you donation, large or small. Also, don't be afraid to cater to your different audiences. So for example, if you have monthly donors, address them directly with a particular email outreach, and you're going to thank them for your monthly, their monthly sponsorship, but you're also going to highlight that there's a prize factor for Giving Tuesday. So they might provide that extra gift that they wouldn't have normally done. Or another example would be if you have donors that give every year at the end of the year. So they tend to give in December or right around that last week of the year trying to squeeze in those donations. Email them directly and request that they donate Giving Tuesday. That way you can say, hey, your donation can go a little bit further. There's prize opportunity. And then they have it out of the way. So they're not squeezing it in at the end of the year. So just a couple of things that you can do as far as those, those email outreach opportunities. Also, if you have any routine correspondence, so any newsletters that go out regularly or just general updates, add in there about Giving Tuesday. Include your Giving Tuesday link and a little bit of messaging about this year's campaign. But the biggest thing, and this is the most crucial step of all that you cannot forget, test your emails before you send them. And testing an email also includes proofreading an email. That's the big thing. So there's kind of this, you know, get started, be excited, but definitely proofread in the end. Social media is going to be your next step. So much of what we do, so much of news runs through social media. And this is also such a great place to bring awareness of your organization, what you're doing, but also the opportunity to gain new donors as somebody posts and somebody else sees it and they say, oh, I didn't know that they did that. I didn't know they exist. Let me check them out a little bit more. Social media is huge for that peer-to-peer -peer getting information out there. So be sure to check out our Giving Tuesday social media tips and guide. These are our blog posts that you can find in that nonprofit toolkit. So definitely take a quick look at those, kind of read through, see if somebody else on your team can read through, get the creative juices going there. And then you're going to create those multiple posts. And the more posts and the more social media outlets you can use, the better. The more you can write in advance is also good. And part of that is because things are going to get more and more crazy as you get towards Giving Tuesday. So if you can have these written up earlier, then you're not trying to squeeze it in and you know that you've created a well thought out, a well-dressed social media campaign, that's gonna take a lot off your plate. There's a lot of tools that are out there, so don't hesitate to use them, take advantage of them. Step five, get your day of plan together. So no successful sport team shows up on game day without a plan and neither should you. Giving Tuesday is a big day for nonprofits, and we don't want to miss any opportunity to engage with our donors. So you're going to assign point people for a couple of different areas, one for social media, one for donor questions, another for, don for, excuse me, for monitoring donations. Now, this could be you. This could be a set of six people. Totally up to you. Depends on the size of your organization and all that kind of thing. But it's such an important thing to make sure everybody is covered. We want to make sure that those social media posts are going out on time. If there's a major push that you're going for for a particular prize, or if there's a matching grant that's going to be coming to a close, we want that out on social media. If donors have questions, we don't want them to have to wait too long for an answer because we want those donations to be submitted and we want them to be taken care of. So we just wanna keep an eye on those things and it's helpful if you can bring in some volunteers or some other staff members. Along those lines, we have a couple of tips for the day. 
celebrating milestones. So before we even get to Giving Tuesday, we've met with everybody about what we're gonna be doing. Here's what you're gonna do. Here's who you're gonna monitor. But the day of, it is a lot of work, but it's also a day to celebrate and to have fun. So you're gonna celebrate with your staff when you meet a big achievement. You're gonna celebrate on social media. It's a great day and we wanna make sure that we keep it fun. We're also gonna keep an eye on those matching grants and prizes. And the other thing, just a quick tip, if you're a hashtagger, don't forget the hashtag and hashtag Giving Tuesday. We just wanna keep everything kind of flowing and keep that right in front of everybody. We have our last step. Step six is to plan our follow-up. So this falls in line with what we chatted as far as planning out our emails and things. This is the follow-up to Giving Tuesday. So true follow-up is gonna increase future gifts, but it also helps to close out the story of Giving Tuesday. So if your donors cared enough to donate in the first place on Giving Tuesday, then they care enough to know about your Giving Tuesday success. So you're gonna be the one to share it with them. And there's a lot of different ways to do this. The other thing is, is follow-up keeps your donors engaged for future donations, but also future volunteering, future promotion, and other crucial support that you need that sometimes it's just the right donor at just the right place, but we gotta keep that relationship. We've got to steward well our donors. So how are we gonna do that? We're gonna welcome our donors, our new donors with a personal touch. And this can be a great activity for a volunteer, especially for those who aren't able to make a donation. They're not able to give on Giving Tuesday, but they wanna be a part of the mission. This is a great time for that. The other thing is reach out to your previous donors, thank them for their continued support. Let them know what they've been able to do and how they've supported you in the past with these initiatives we've accomplished, but also this is what we have going forward. And if somebody did provide that large gift or a matching grant, make a big deal about it. Like you see, you know, maybe have them there for lunch or invite them along if there's a big outing that your organization is able to host for the community. These donations are big and we should make a big deal about them. Lastly, this is our bonus step. If you're not able to work in all the bells and whistles for this year, that's okay. All you have to do is participate. That's it. You do a quick registration and then just take a look at your Mighty Cause page. Make sure that everything is up to date. You know, if there's anything from last year or if there's anything real simple, make a quick update. Don't even worry about your metrics. Just make a quick update on your content and then create a couple of social media posts, maybe one for the day before, a couple days before, a post for the day of, send out an email blast, two social media posts, single email blast about Giving Tuesday, and you are good to go. And you never know. That one person that donates could become the golden ticket. So all you got to do is, is participate. So with that, let's go ahead to jump to any questions that you guys have. And we'll take just a moment because I know it can take some time to type things out. So go ahead and let me know. And also keep in mind, we do have that toolkit you can access anytime. So if there's anything that you need to go over, you can jump back on the, the webinar, fast forward to where you need to go and check that out again. And as those questions come in, I'm also gonna say again, I'm so grateful that you had the opportunity to join us, that you made time in your day to prepare for Giving Tuesday. We are so excited to have you. And we are excited that for 2021, with everything that could be going on, you've taken time to spend with us. Okay, so I do have a question from Roberta. Good, I'm glad that you enjoyed the info. You are so welcome. So you did ask, okay, why, why is there um, with the name field for the credit card? So one of the things that we do, um, or I should say, excuse me, why isn't there a name field for the credit card info? It would be the name that's attached to the, the donation, like a little bit kind of right up above that section. So it's the, the credit cards are able to process. So unless there was a major discrepancy, primarily more with like the address and that kind of thing, but typically that, I'm gonna say the donor name typically aligns with the 
credit card name. Let me know if, if that answers that uh, full question. So, Janicia, the toolkit, you're going to head to givingtuesday.mightycause.com. And then you're going to go, there's a, a strip kind of right below the big picture. And I think it's three icons over is going to say resources. Click on resources and it'll be your first option. It's going to be the MPO toolkit. And I have another from Felicity. Are there organizations out there willing to match your funds? We don't provide a list. You definitely can search. So that, you know, that's certainly an option. Unfortunately, we don't provide a list just for the sake of you know, keeping everything fair. There are organizations that do it. Uh, you just kind of have to, to hunt around and particularly finding uh, larger organizations or foundations that are similar in nature to the work of your nonprofit. But definitely take a take a take a search. I would say Google, Bing, you know what have you. And Roberta, real quickly, I'm just going to read over. And I'm glad that that made sense. What you could yes. So Roberta's question is when and you're in that checkout flow. Is there a way to have a blank field? for the dollars raised so that someone knows it's not only $25, 50 or 100. So what you could do right below, I should say what's kind of built in, right below is where they can add their own amount. Uh, and so maybe take a look, kind of just click your donate button so that you're looking at it from fresh eyes, not in the edit view. And you'll see right below your suggested amounts that they can add their own as well, their own dollar amount. Kathy, let's take a look here. Yes. So the um, in Kathy's question, will the organization's team monitor donations from the web page connected to the URL that you're including in your emails or social media? The answer is yes. What you can do, all of those donations that are going to be coming in. Anyone who's an admin, so you'll want to make sure in your settings that they're registered as an admin, then they can go to that donations report and they can follow along. It Sometimes it takes a couple of minutes between when the donation is fully submitted to when it shows up on the donation report, but you'll be able to follow along that way. And as long as it's the, as long as they're on your URL, you'll be seeing those, whether they come from social media or they just get your URL from an email. It'll take them all to the same place. Roberta, what you could do, so Roberta has a question with the suggested donation amounts of adding a statement such as, uh, where it has like, it's suggested donation, donations, 25, 100, 150. Can she add something or any amount you can give if you wanted to, you could have, for example, a, a suggested donation amount, I'll say 150, or you could do maybe $5 might be easier. And you could then have written there or any amount you give, any amount you can give. You could have that there. Uh, and if you wanted, I don't know how many characters you're allowed, but if you wanted to, you could say see below and then they could post or type in the, the total that they wanna give there just below your other donation suggestions. And these have been great questions. So we're not gonna we're not gonna rush off. So if you have any questions or if you're kind of thinking over something, feel free to to send it in. And you can send it in you know through the chat message or through the question and answer box. And you'll also have the opportunity, any questions that you have Check in with our customer support. We are happy to help. It's why we're here. So it might be that you're working on your page later this afternoon and you said, okay, I can't remember what I'm supposed to do here. No problem. Check in with customer support. So we are happy to help. You're not stranded. Karen, I see a hand raised. We're not able to do the audio, but if you could, are you able to type in your, your question? We can definitely give a few moments for that. Take your time.
And I do appreciate, again, you all being here. It really, really makes a difference. We really want to give you the tools and the understanding that you need of the platform. So I'm glad that you're here. Yes, so Karen asked, she hasn't had a chance to check out the toolkit, but she asked if it's gonna walk her through the profile setup. What you can do is they do, we have a different support articles, um, not support articles, different blogs. And within the blogs about setting up your page, there's gonna be a support article. But what we can do is Karen, I have your name. And what we can do is I'll make sure that you get a copy of our support article walking you through how to, to customize. So we can definitely take care of that for you. So it is in the toolkit, but it's within the, the blogs. Any other questions or any other hands raised? Totally get it. Karen said it has been a crazy month, so she's going to check out any support we can offer. And absolutely, we also have just a, a whole forum, our support forum of blogs, articles, support articles, blogs, webinars, ebooks, all kinds of stuff. So that's in our resources. You can also find that super easy if you just go to the main Mighty Cause page in the upper left corner, you're going to see resources. You can click on that and it's going to open you up to our full library. So Karen, we'll touch base, but for anybody who needs that little bit of extra support, we've got it for you in our library. And I think I'm not seeing any movement, which is fine. Grateful you guys could be here. I know I've said that so many times, but we truly are so glad. Keep an eye out for the follow-up email with the recording and the slide deck. You know, take a look, share with others. If anybody has questions, reach out to our customer support, check out that toolkit. We also have FAQs and we also have for your donors, if they have questions, that's also in the resources. So take a look at the Giving Tuesday page, givingtuesday.mightycause.com. Find everything that you need. Until next time, we will see you soon. Thank you again for stopping by. We really, really appreciate it. Take care, everyone.